next step we need to put both of them in one file then we can convert them to raster and from raster we can convert them we can export them to r we will try to use merge function but we make sure that both files they should have the same coordinate system so now we try to merge the slides and slides is all no slide is all merged so now you can see we successfully merged the two files into one file with two attributes this one it represent zero and this represent the one so now we just uh, in order to understand this we need to convert this two values into zero and one then we can we won't feel confused later so you can just easily edit this one will represent one and here will represent zero okay now check okay then you save or edit okay now we are ready to convert this file into raster i want to mention that while we will, con we will convert the this to a raster that's mean every one point it will take one pixel and the pixel size here is a 40 meter so make sure that if the if you are working on landslides or pollutants or the different application you make sure that this event within this area within the 40 meter by 40 meter if it's larger please you can go for further steps you can you can start with the buffer first to make the real extent of your uh, observation and then you convert them to raster okay so i will keep one point represent one pixel and this is the step here will be by we feel that so I need that it can take zero and one training alarm cell size forty meter there we go 40 meter, 40 meter symbology classified. We have our 0 and 1, giving value 0 and 1. Count 75, 75, and so on. Okay. Now our data is ready to be converted into our environment. We have dependent factor, which is the training. Also, we have the independent factors. 